So, in today's 4 fight video, it is what I like and dislike about all the episodes of Doctor Who Part 21. So, this is the 21st episode of the series. And, yeah, I don't know how long it's gone for. We're in Matt Smith now, give an idea of how far we are in the series. So, 201st was The Waters of Mars. Now, I found this a really good story. It creeped me out a little bit. Not gonna. Not gonna lie there, it did creep me out a bit. I was uh, 11 at the time, but I found it a really good story. 100, uh, two, sorry, 200 second was the end of time. Now, it, there are a few things I didn't like about it, like the Time Lord, some of the costumes didn't like that there, didn't really look realistic, it just looked like it did back in the 70s with Tom Baker, being as the deadly assassin, so. That was a thing what I didn't really like about it, but it was good. It's a good story. And obviously it was David Tennant's last appearance, part two on one about the first of January two thousand ten. Two hundred and third was the eleventh hour. Now I thought this was a really good story. It is one of my more favourite um Matt Smith's era Doctor Ball episode. But I didn't really like the eye. Didn't really like the villain. Not really convincing for me. But this shows some clips of old Doctor Who. They might have been a matter of seconds, but still. 204th was the Beast Below. I can't actually remember this, but if I remember rightly, it was based on a ship. What was powered by that. And no one could feel the vibration of it, but obviously there was. But the Doctor could, but no one else could. And I think there was Killer Clowns or something. No. Do you know the vent? Do you know the machines that give you predictions? They were alive or something like that. The two hundred and fifth was Victory of the Daleks. I thought this was really good because they are, it was the first one multicolored Daleks. Also, there were different colors like a TV movie they done back in the sixties. Get onto more of that later on in the uh, series. But I thought this was really good. Yeah, I thought it brought the Daleks back into the modern era with different colours, I thought it was all colourful and really nice, really good. 206 um, 6th A and 206 B were the time of angels and flesh and stone. What I like about this was weeping angels, and I do like the weeping angels, you can see that's the pictures of it. But what I didn't like about it, it wasn't very convincing, you could tell there were people in costumes. But yeah, so overall, it's a good story. 207th was Vampires of Veni Venice, I think. I can't actually remember this one. Can't remember this one at all. That's the thing. Can't remember it at all. Don't know why. 208th was Amy's Choice. Now, I really like this because it brought another side of the Doctor. The Dream Lord, if I remember rightly, played by him. Which I thought was really good, and fun fact you may or may not know, the Dad's Army movie back uh, 2015 or 16, I think it was, he played Captain Manor. If you don't know what Dad's Army is, just Google it, it's a old comedy show. Well, not comedy, it's more of a period comedy, second model. 209th was the, oh, 209th A and 209th B was the Hungry Earth and Cold Blood. Now what I like about this, I can't actually remember this, but I remember about it, was um, people drilling down, down as far as they could go, and obviously it created sinkholes and it just pulled a load of people underneath, I think, if I remember rightly. 210th was the Venice to the Doctor, can't remember this at all, to be honest with you, honestly I just can't remember it. And as always, all information is correct as a recording, which is 29th of July 2019. And that's what time I am recording when I get up. That's what time I'm recording. It is 10.08 or 09, is it? Yep. And 10.07 according to my watch. And as always, link inscription to normal things. Thanks for watching. And as always, goodbye.